Okay guys, so first thing is first, the shortcuts app, this is only for test flight users and that is developers only. So if you're on the public beta, test flight is not allowing public beta users to uh, kind of test out shortcuts. You will have to be a developer and you will have to request it through the developer portal. So I'm sorry guys, you cannot access shortcuts at this time, but I will give you a short demo or short look at uh, the shortcuts app and this is the first screen that will pop up. So we have a splash screen here. Um, it will basically give you a rundown of what the shortcuts app is. So um, take the shortest path is the first one, combine a series of steps into a single shortcut so you can automate the things that you do with your app. So they kind of featured this a little bit at WWDC and it was really cool. And it's kind of like a if this then that type of um, application and I think it'll work really well. It just needs some development. So that's obviously what they're doing here. So let's go over to um, the shortcuts app. I have it on my screen here. That's the app icon there. Um, you can see that it looks exactly as they presented it. So this is the first screen that you will come to after the splash screen and basically it's our library. So we can go ahead and create a shortcut or they actually have a gallery here off to the right. So um, we can do shortcuts for sharing. So we can share a location, share reminders, upload our last photo to the Dropbox, um, better mail merge, um, there's a ton of options and they have some integration for social media, which I think is really good uh, because obviously a lot of people who are on social media want to get things out pretty quickly and they want to do it um, as you know easily as possible. So if you are a heavy social media user, they have a lot of um, preset uh, kind of shortcuts for for social media, so that's really good. Um, they have some for Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram, and then they have um, some just for fun, so spam with lyrics, that's pretty cool. Um, so they have a lot of things going on here, but I'm going to do something very simple to start out with. So we are going to go ahead with share location. I think they demoed this. So um, get shortcut, it'll download it into our library. So that's really cool that they have presets so you don't exactly have to create your own. I did try creating a shortcut and it was a little bit difficult just because it's not, um, it's in the first development stage. So it may get a little bit easier, but it's kind of difficult for now. But we'll go ahead and test out the share location. And all you have to do, since it's in your library, all you have to do is tap on it. And we'll go ahead and allow our location services. So we can go ahead and share location. So if we share location, we have to actually send it to someone. So uh, get current location is the first step that it takes when you press that button. It gets our map URL, and then we have to send the message to someone. So if we want to, like let's say you are a child and you just wanna share your location with your parents, but you don't wanna, wanna have to go into the Maps app, share your location through messages and all that, because that can, gets kind of uh, time consuming, you can go ahead and put in um, your recipient. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's put in my name. <laughs> that is me. I entered my phone number there. I can go ahead and just wanted to share to let you know where I am. So entered that, and this is this is all automated. So once once you press this button, it will do all these things. So you don't have to do it again. So um, we're, we'll click done here, and then just for an example, we'll go ahead and share our location. Tap that, and then it will automatically send the message. So you have to send the message yourself. So far, there's no automated like send message on on its own, um, just by tapping this, it will basically do the do the um, script and then pop up with the final message here. So, so what's really cool with this is actually we just did all that, but we can also do something else. We can integrate Siri into this whole thing. So if we wanted to um, share location, we can do share location uh, with parents, and then. We'll go ahead, save that, and then we can go ahead and change our icon. We can go to our icons here. 
um, people, objects, symbols, services. There's so many things here. This is absolutely cool. So we're going to um, do people and we're gonna do the two people here to indicate that's our parents. We'll hit that blue uh, or get that blue. And then perfect. That is what we'll do. That's our icon. Uh, we can show in our widget. We can show in share sheet, and then we can add to our home screen, uh, share our shortcut. So we can add it to our home screen. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, the process for this is just a little bit strenuous, but let's go ahead and do that. We have to do it through Safari. So add to home screen and share location with parents and then go ahead and click add. So share location with parents is on our home screen. So all we have to do is tap that it will run through the whole process. So it's getting our current location. And obviously this isn't going to be the fastest simply because it's in its first development stage. So it might lag a little bit. As you can see, it took a while to get our location, but it went through the whole automated process. And basically we can go ahead and share that and we're done. So that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and add it to Siri. So we can go ahead and say, share location with parents. So let's go ahead and record that. Share location with parents. Perfect. So that will be added. And then let's go ahead. Hey Siri, share location with parents. running your shortcut. Awesome, so it's running our shortcut right now in the background and it will pop up with our message soon. It, as I said, this does take a little while right now, but as it gets streamlined, this will be so quick and it will be so useful to a lot of you users. So we'll go ahead and send the message there and that's what we get. So that is so cool, you guys. It is really a, a simple process and if, as I said, if you are a heavy social media user, this is going to be awesome. So we can go ahead and tweet the current song that we're playing. We can, like if you wanna share with your users what music you're listening to, maybe you're doing something special. Uh, we can also do that with Instagram. And what's really cool is choose from your Instagram photos, save to your phone and we can share with Instagram straight straight away from our, our photos, our selected photos. So that's really cool. Um, we uh, This is really cool as an integration with Twitter simply because we can do so much with, with Twitter. They have a lot more options with Twitter versus Instagram. And then we also have Tumblr as well. But we also see um, like some just for fun things. So we'll go ahead and add this to our, our uh, library just to see exactly what what Apple is included. So just for fun, uh, we have an awe and it says see a random top post from our awe, which is on Reddit. So let's go ahead and add that to our library and let's just see like what it pops up. So um, let's go to awe and then we can go to the Reddit app and it will basically show us the latest post. So that's really cool. Um, honestly, this is awesome. I can see this going really far for Apple and iOS. So um, shortcuts for sharing, they have uh, wonderful widget shortcuts and run shortcuts in other apps. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and check out um, exactly I think they featured this as well. We can go ahead and utilize our location even more. So let's go ahead and get our home ETA. So get shortcut and I'm going to put in my address. Who do you want to send your home ETA to? Now, this is really interesting because we can share our ETA, like share, we could share our location, but we can, we can also share our ETA. So that's really cool. Um, we'll just select me again and then go ahead and click done. So guys, that's a brief look at the shortcuts app. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with this because this is really cool. Um, we can, there's a lot more widgets here. And if you guys want a specific video surrounding certain widgets or anything like that, let me know in the comment section because these are really interesting. And honestly, I think these are like the future of iOS and they are doing something that Samsung has been doing for a while, 
but they're doing it in a whole new way, something really cool and it all looks very well laid out. So if you are a developer, go ahead and go into the developer portal. They'll send you an email to access the shortcuts um, app. If I go to test flight here, you can, you can see that I am on the test flight. So it will basically send you a message, invite you to the test flight to test the app and it will allow you to install it and then you can go ahead and use the shortcuts app. So guys, go check it out. Thank you all for watching this short demo on the test flights app. Let me know what you like about it in the comment section down below. I know a ton of us were so excited for shortcuts and I'll get back to you as soon as possible as far as any questions or concerns regarding this app as I continue to go throughout the app today. So guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to get subscribed if you aren't already and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.